Hi, welcome to Hi-Fi Addiction, where we buy and sell second-hand Hi-Fi. One of the issues that we always get with turntables is the turntable lids themselves are always scratched when people put magazines on them. Uh, and in this process today, we're going to show you how we polish them. Okay, so this Technics lid has typical scratches that we get all over most lids. There's some really bad stuff here. We may be able to get rid of most of that, but sometimes there will be things that we can't get rid of. But all of the, all of the scratches you can see here, all the way along, all of these can come out. There's a bit of a scratch here which you may be able to catch in the lens and that we should get rid of. So let's get this onto the workbench and we'll show you the process. Okay, we've got the lid in our little polishing booth here and we use some blocks on Velcro here just to hold the lid fairly solid because otherwise they fly around when you're trying to polish them. Uh, and to polish the lids, we use two things. We use a car grade polish uh, and we use a car polishing mop. And the reason we use this rather than it's, it, it looks like a grinder, it's not a grinder because it only spins quite, spins quite slowly and therefore it doesn't overheat the acrylic because if you overheat the acrylic obviously you're going to damage it. So we're going to do one half just to show you what it looks like and compare with the other half. So I'm just going to do that like that, there. And when we're doing it we tend to concentrate in quarters so you just if you try and do the whole thing all at once you'll never get it done so just concentrate on one quarter then the other quarter and work your way around if you're doing this at home and by the way trying to do this manually without anything almost impossible you'll be at it for weeks so here we go Okay, we've had a good go at it. It's probably taken us 20 minutes to do this half. It would take us, if it was a bad lid like this, it would take us a solid 40 minutes to an hour to do, probably. So just have a quick look now. And we've got some bits here which are quite heavily scored. Now, I'm not convinced we'll get rid of all of these. These are really quite thick into the uh, acrylic. But we'll have a go. And the best way of doing that is with a bit of wet and dry. We use 2000 grade wet and dry. I wouldn't use anything more because you spend ages then um, rubbing it down again. So we just literally do this process a bit by hand and you just need to stop every now and again to have a look and see if you can still see the indentations, keeping it wet. Okay, well we've pretty much finished the polishing. It's probably taken us 30 minutes as I said earlier. Finished off that wet and dry uh, process here, where there were some really bad scratches. Wasn't sure we'd get rid of them. They are pretty much gone. There's slight evidence of them there, but I tell you what, you're going to barely notice it. Let's move it on to the other bench, where we can show you the finished article. Okay, we've got the lid on the other workbench here, and I'm just going to show you the difference from removing this tape. Now I'm hoping that you can see it because from here it is night and day different um, and looking closely we have got rid of all of the major scratches as well. I've realised in fact we've done the opposite side to the one I thought we were going to do because I was expecting to polish this side where we've got this light scratch here, heavier than the other scratches but I think we could have got rid of it. Uh, but you can hopefully see these and how bad this side is and then if you just follow me over to the other side in this area was where we had some really heavy scoring uh, and I really didn't think we'd get rid of that um, hence the reason we were actually going to film on the other side but we've done this and it has 99% gone you can just see how clear the surface is now hopefully that shows you what a day and night difference it is when we polish the lids